Hello everyone. In this video, we'll study uh, 2D, where is the baby? And in the first exercise here, we have some words, things in the house. Here, which of the, uh, these words do you know? Then do exercise the exercise in vocabulary 2.5, page 130. Okay, so read them. A mirror, a desk, a sofa, a carpet, a door, a bookcase, a window, the floor, a plant, a coffee table, a lamp, curtains. Okay, which one you know? Tick. And after that, let's go to page 130. <clears throat> and we have this exercise. Okay, so match the words to the letters here. Okay. After you finish, here's this, this is the answer here. Okay, so let's see some um, photos for uh, these things in the house. Okay, so this is a carpet. Carpets. A chair. Coffee table. Again, these are coffee tables. A desk. And this is a desk, and here's a lamp, a door, this is the car key, and these are keys, plural, a mirror, passport, plants, a plant, a sofa, a table, a window, and curtains here. These are curtains. Okay, so let's go to page 22 again. Okay, so again, a mirror, a desk, a sofa, a carpet, a door, a bookcase, a window, the floor, a plant, a coffee table, a lamp, curtains. Okay, now in exercise number two, where is the cat? Here prepositions of place. Okay, where's the cat? For example, here we have in, on, by, under, behind, in front of. So here, where is the cat? The cat is in front of the books. In front of the books. So let's write the answer here. Okay, so in front of, okay, let's do it from number six, okay? Number six, where is the cat? The cat is in the books, okay? So in here is number six, okay? Five, where is the cat? The cat is on the books, so on is number five. And here, where is the cat? The cat is by the books. Four. Three. Where is the cat? Under the books. Three. The cat is behind the books. Two. And number one, the cat is in front of the books. 
in front of the books. Okay, now look at this photo here. Okay, so you remember the family? This is from, uh, let's uh, go back here. If you remember this family, mm -hmm. Nick, Pam, Ruby, yes, Nick, Pam, Ruby, and Florence. Okay, so these are this is the same family. Okay, so here, this family in the living room here, and in the living room. What do we see in the living room? We have a TV, mirror, a plant, table, a chair, and cat, coffee table, an MP3 player, keys, DVDs, and coat, mobile, sofa, suitcase, a chair, shoes, a bag, books, door, window, curtains, bookcase, a lamp, and a lamp, a computer, a desk, a passport, a mouse. Okay, so these are the, the things in the uh, living room okay so now what we do here in exercise number number three we will write sentences about these things where are these things okay we'll write sentences about where are these things okay for example we will look at the photo here we say nick's suitcase nick's keys okay if we look at the photo Nick's suitcase where is Nick's suitcase yes it's here yeah Nick's suitcase this is the sofa and it's behind the sofa okay and what about <clears throat> here for example the keys on the coffee table on the coffee table so now we will write sentences. Okay, how do we write sentences here? Okay, so let's see. Number one here. Okay, next suitcase. Next suitcase. Is it singular or plural? It's singular. So we say is. Okay, next suitcase is. And where is it? Okay, is behind what the sofa. Okay, behind the sofa. So this is Nick's suitcase. So here, Nick's suitcase is what singular. That's why we, what why we uh, write here is okay. Now let's try. Next keys, okay. Next keys. Next keys, singular or plural? Plural. So we say are, uh huh, on the coffee table. Okay, on the coffee table. 
so why we are uh, we write r here because of the plural this is r okay so the first step number one here we write next suitcase what we talk about okay number two the verb to be number three preposition so let's write them here <clears throat> preposition here behind and here on after that behind what on what so how many steps do we have here this is number one okay this is here number two number three and number four okay so step number one what we talk about step number two verb to be step number three the preposition and step number four the preposition for example behind what on what in what okay uh, let's do number three together again next mobile phone okay when we look at, uh, at the photo next mobile phone this is singular or plural it's singular so we say is okay where is uh, under the coat okay under the coat okay where is the coat the coat is on the sofa okay so next mobile phone is under the coat on the sofa so here again we have next phone is singular and is singular after that we write the preposition under okay under what under the coat and where is the coat preposition on okay on on what on the sofa so here we we write one two three four okay you can write more but three no you can write four and five okay but three no you write next mobile phone is under under what the code okay where is the code on the sofa okay so let's do number four uh -huh. number four we already write it here but we make uh, uh, another sentence Pam's coat is okay is on the sofa okay on the sofa okay do the others then we'll check together Okay, so here's the answer. We say next keys are on the coffee table. And these are the keys here. Next mobile phone is under the coat. Under the coat. And the coat is on the sofa. Pam's coat is on the sofa. This is the coat. Ruby's new shoes are under the chair here. Under the chair. 
The cat is on the chair here. <clears throat> Ruby's bag is by the door. Here is the bag. Ruby's books are books are in the bag here. Nick's passport is by the computer here. Ruby's MP3 player is on the coffee table. Here it is. The lamp, the lamp is by the computer. Here's the lamp by the computer. The DVDs are in front of the TV. Here they are. Okay, so now in this exercise here, we asked whose mobile phone is this? It's Nick's. Whose shoes are these? They are rubies. Okay, so here, for example, now I look at the photo and we have an MP3 player. So I don't know. This MP3 player, is it for Pam? Is it for Ruby? Or is it for uh, Nick? I don't know. So I ask a question and the question here, for example, the same. We say, whose MP3 player is this? Whose mobile phone is this? This is the question. And this question for singular. Okay. And the question for plural, whose shoes are these? So here we have the difference between singular and plural. Okay and mobile phone is singular verb to be is okay and shoes are plural are and we have these because plural and here we have this because it's singular okay because it's singular we write it is Okay, so because it's singular, we write it is. Mobile phone. Mobile phone is singular. It. And here we have the plural. Okay, shoes, plural. So we write they. So we write they are. Okay, what about this nix? It's, it's possessive. Okay, we say, for example, it is nix uh -huh, mobile phone, nix mobile phone. But we don't write mobile phone, we just write it's nix. Okay. You add is possessive here. Okay, so this is the is possessive here. And the same is possessive after the name. Okay, so whose mobile phone is this? It's Nick's. Whose MP3 player is this? It's Ruby's. Whose, for example, whose cat is this? It's Ruby's. What about the pl uh, plural? Whose shoes are these? They're rubies. Whose keys are these? They're nicks. Whose DVDs are these? They're rubies. And in this way. Okay, so let's go to the next exercise. Now, in this exercise, listen and tick the things in the books in 3A that the family talk about. So where's 3A? Let's put it Track here 40. first. Okay, and go. For example, I will listen and they will talk. For example, I listen about 
they say next suitcase they talk about suit suitcase i put tick maybe they don't talk about keys maybe they don't they talk about phone so i put tick like this okay just the thing you listen to okay let's listen track 47 pam where's my suitcase here it is behind the sofa and have you got my keys no nick of course i haven't they're on the desk by the computer okay thanks and where's my mobile oh i don't know look there it is under my coat there on the sofa thanks mom where are my new shoes they're under the chair by the window and where's my bag oh robbie it's by the door where it always is thanks mom right are you ready robbie yes have you got your school books yes they're in my bag look oh no where's my passport it's on the table by the window in front of the plant oh yes thanks bye love see you on sunday bye right hmm. where's the baby okay guys so let's check the answers together These are the things they talk about. Okay, so we will listen again. And when the family talk, they talk about, for example, they say uh, three things, but in different places, not in the correct place. For example, they say next suitcase. They say the suitcase is in front of the sofa. Ah, and this is wrong. So when I listen, okay, when I listen, I say, ah, this is suitcase. They talk wrong. Uh, maybe they say, for example, Ruby's new shoes um, by the TV. So I tick. Which one is wrong? They talk about tick. Okay, listen again. Track 47. Pam, where's my suitcase? Here it is, behind the sofa. And have you got my keys? No, Nick, of course I haven't. They're on the desk, by the computer. OK, thanks. And where's my mobile? Oh, I don't know. Look, there it is, under my coat. There, on the sofa. Thanks. Mum, where are my new shoes? They're under the chair by the window. And where's my bag? Oh, Robbie, it's by the door where it always is. Thanks, Mum. Right. Are you ready, Robbie? Yes. Have you got your school books? Yes. They're in my bag. Look. Oh, no. Where's my passport? It's on the table by the window in front of the plant. Oh, yes. Thanks. Bye, love. See you on Sunday. Bye. Right. Hmm. Where's the baby? Okay, so let's check the answers. Ah, uh, here, Nick's keys. In the picture, they are on the coffee table, but in the recording, they are on the desk by the computer. Ruby's shoes, in the picture, they are under the chair by, uh, by the sofa, but in the recording, they are under the chair by the window. Nick's passport, in the picture, it's by the computer, but in the recording, it's on the table by the window in front of the plant so keys shoes and passport
Okay, so here in exercise number six, okay, here look at audio script uh, 47, page 156. Okay, listen again and underline all the prepositions of place. So 156. Forty-seven. Okay, so here, for example, we underline all the prepositions. Hmm. For example, Pam, where is my suitcase? Here it is, behind. Behind is preposition, so we underline. And we've got my keys. No, next, of course, I haven't. Mm, on. Mm, by. Under. Okay, and do the same in this script, all of it. Okay, guys. So now we will move to uh, exercise one help with pronunciation the schwa in uh, words. For example, here, what's the schwa? This is, we call it schwa. This is the sound in English, in British accent. We call it schwa. And for example, this is how we say it. Uh, uh, uh. We say address, me, me, mechanic, Paula, Paula, Poland, teacher, teacher, doctor, doctor, number, number, man, man, n, n, manager, manager, uh, uh. Account, account, t, 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 accountant. Okay, listen. Track 48. Address. Mechanic. Poland. Teacher. Doctor. Number. Manager, accountant, okay, you can repeat it again and again and practice, okay, in this exercise here, what we do, we will underline the schwa in each word, we underline the schwa, for example, here, we say China, China. So this is the schwa here. Okay, China. What about seven? Seven. Where is the schwa? It's E. Ven, ven. Okay. So now stop the video. Try to underline the schwa here in all of them. Okay. Now. Let's listen and check. Track 49. China. Seven. Actor. Important. Second. Daughter. Parents Japan Police Sofa Okay, and this is here the answer as you can see and you can repeat many times and practice Okay, so now 
if we look at exercise um, here 3a look at these words circle the words with a schwa for example now here we say email and letter email and letter so where is the schwa e we don't have schwa may may not schwa le le ta letter le letter so this is the schwa when we have a schwa we circle okay look here dentist then then no uh, uh, maybe this schwa so we say the the but here we say then then t t test mm, no Clee, lee, no, na, na, cleaner, cleaner. So this is schwa. Okay, so what we do here? We circle. Okay, this. Okay, so now stop the video and find the schwa. Which one has schwa? You circle. After you finish, let's check. Track 50 1. Email Letter 2. Dentist Cleaner 3. 70 90 4. Spanish German 5 Laptop Computer 6 Italy Egypt 7 Window Mirror 8. Saturday Tuesday Okay, so let's check the answers here. Mm. Okay, so here cleaner 70 German, computer, Italy, mirror, Saturday. Okay. Okay, so that's it here in this lesson. In this lesson, we talked about here things in the house. Okay, then we studied prepositions. After that, we studied how we talk about things and where they are in the place for example Nick's suitcase is behind the sofa on the coffee table under the desk okay after that we practice some uh, here about the questions how we ask about things for people whose mobile phone is this for singular and whose shoes are these for plural okay and we practice some listening the last thing we studied here, uh, pronunciation and the sound of schwa, okay? And this is everything in this lesson. Okay, guys, so thank you and goodbye.